Starring Mr. Bunny Rabbit. I'm a gangster. Jimmy Smith Jr. Played by Eminem. All right, we start off with Marshall puking in a sink. I think he ate too much of mom's spaghetti. But these dudes do not give a shit. They are banging on the door. He's just like, yo, I'm done. Where the hell you think you're going? Going backstage, I'm in the bathroom. You can't go backstage. Man, come on, dog, I got a stamp. Straight, dog, he's straight. Hey, would you? Yeah. Hey, man, I got a fucking stamp. They don't know about his skills yet. Yes, I'm a bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. But look, we got Makai Pfeiffer with the dreads. He looks ridiculous. <laughs> but yo, you ever see painted full? That's a good move. Alright, now we got Mozzarella Bobby and that fat dude from Ballers. That show with the rock. We got a red rock. All right, we see Jimmy, he's kind of keeping his trash outside under the dumpster. He's kind of poor, that sucks. His friends make fun of him. <laughs> he has shit to do. This movie focuses on one week in Jimmy Smith Jr.'s life. And basically, people of Detroit know 8 Mile as a city limit, a border, a boundary. Well, it's also a psychological dividing line that separates Eminem. Something's gonna happen with this shit. It needs to happen now. How you feeling? Feel good, you feel good. That's what I did. You see, we got Papa Doc. He's basically the head boss lead bad guy in the movie, but he has the worst bars in the movie, so it's kind of weird. How floor are you? Making my wish that a fat ass aborted you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not even fat, so that doesn't really make much sense. But, yo. Provolone Robert. Eminem's just watching. He's like, fuck it. I guess I'm next. So now his boy Proof steps up. R.I.P. to Proof. R.I.P. to Proof. Next up. My man Bunny Rabbit yeah. and Lil Tip. They don't laugh because you whack, they laugh because you white with a mic. Alright, next up is my boy Bunny Rabbit. <laughs> Bunny Rabbit stepping up to the mic. Look at all these people in here. You know, there ain't one white dude in there. That's weird. Uh oh. I think Bunny has a dick in his mouth because he's joking. Oh shit. It's over. He doesn't know what to do now. Little side note this movie box office $243 million. Never mind DVD sales and all that other shit. Now we see Kim Basinger fucking a younger dude. Used to be Eminem's enemy when they were in high school. And of course, they're still enemies. His mom decided to give him a piece of shit cop. It's your birthday present. This is a fire ass movie, yo. Honey, what up, Dad? But here comes his scumbag friend, Wink. Thought you might be back home. This ain't my home. Ain't nobody down there but a bunch of clowns who ain't got deals and never gonna get deals. Later, he's gonna try to fuck out his new girl. And, like, that's just ridiculous. He's a hustler, but he's not even hustling. He looks like shit. I'm the one that tipped him on Big O and got that fat man out of flipping burgers at Biggie D's. Man, you're next. He's that dude who always thinks he knows everybody. You know them You know them dudes that think they know everyone, and then you talk to them, and it's like, wait a minute, this dude's full of shit. But anyway, now we see Jimmy Smith Jr. Now we see Marshall making bumpers at the factory. His fat boss is like, yo, you are not getting overtime, bro. Here comes that hottie, Brittany Murphy. Are you shit me? Hey, Dutton. Is he shitting me? What? I'm looking for John Letourneau. I can take you. I don't think so, Smith. Yo, she's kind of cute. I'm not even gonna lie, that's crazy how she died so young. But, R.I.P. Now we see the gang chilling in the whip. Oh, the shit! Bring that damn I'm thing, still man. Good. <laughs> oh, <you're so> <laughs> Come on, that's <laughs> got in trouble doing the same situation like this before. Of course, it wasn't a paintball gun, it was a BB gun, and we got in serious trouble. We ended up getting pulled over at the gas station, and like 50 cops had guns drawn on all of us. That was a scary fucking moment. Good thing I was high. Anyways, now after driving around shooting a cop car, Eminem's about to show you why he's authentic man. Your style is generic. Mine's authentic made. Like you're scared to lick pussy. Smoking that lick licking. Ten freaky girls inside that chin jiggy. We see the guys pull up to a spot parking lot where basically everybody, all their little rap groups battle each other. Now we see Lickety Spit about to talk some shit. You know, this motherfucker's not even good either. But he's better than Papa Doc. And that's real talk. This is that whole little crew. Free world. Fuck free world. Free world. Leaders of the free world here to smash on you cowards. Hold on. Yo, Elvis. Caught your choke act at the shelter last night. Uh, I saw you talking to Papa Doc. You mean Clarence? 
Christine's brother. Oh shit, now Eminem got the dirt on Clarence. Pimp Daddy Pepperjack. Now we go back to the house. She wants to know what Bunny does later. We're being evicted. God damn it! What are you doing with your life that's so great, rabbit? He's having some serious problems. She won money recently playing bingo. So that problem was solved. Now the gang's cruising around. There they go, fucking free world, chilling. So 313 has to pull up and- Whoa! 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 Look at these dudes though. This ain't the type of crew I want on my side, but you know, whatever. Uh oh, here comes no, no. Cheese Steve Robert. This motherfucker is about to shoot us, himself huh? in the cock. Fuck with us, yeah? Man, put that shit away, dog. Okay, all right. Fuck, man. Is it the bean of the Franks? Is it the is it the bean of the Franks? Is it the is it the bean of the Franks? <laughs> now they just drop him off at the hospital. Like who gives a shit? And they start arguing. And Dreads keeps talking shit to Wink, cause Wink's a bitch. Oh, like that time you were real tight with that intern in Russell Simmons' office. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm making moves. It's our sex life. He doesn't go down on me. He just me. doesn't like. Mom, that. I don't want to hear this. Greg won't go down on me. Mom. <laughs> Shit, now we're about to have a freestyle battle back at the plant. Did you guys know Exhibit? You guys remember Exhibit? The pimp My Ride? To get a pimped out ride. But a Vruke. Look this fat ass nigga. <laughs> Sloppy sucker. You an ugly motherfucker. Take a look at Bart a Fruke. <laughs> On this mic, you get faded. You look like a pissed off rapper who never made it. Hey, yo, let's be real. The best part about this movie is the freestyle battles. And that shit is sick. Ooh, looks like the whore's back. Jimmy, I want to see your rabbit. Of course, this dude ain't playing. But look, he gets to kiss Britney. He brings his bitch to the back of his factory and fucks her. You know, I did something like that too. I worked at an envelope warehouse factory situation. I was working the bailer and... Over time, cha-ching. Yeah, so this movie's sick, dude. Of course, they go in and check on Cheddar Bobski, and he don't feel good. But of course, he's snooping through the window and shit. Then he goes back home later that night. There's the whore there with Wink. Wink's gonna score with this bitch. He don't care. He ain't about the record deal. He's about Wink. Yo, you bought out of my fucking moms? What the fuck? Then he goes back to the house has a fucking fight with everybody because he's in a terrible mood. So he goes and beats up mom's boyfriend, which of course causes him to leave mom in the future once his money comes in. Then he goes in the future after fighting with the mom's boyfriend because he ain't playing games now. Then he's driving around. He says, fuck it. I need to get out of this motherfucker. And then when he goes to find Wink, that's where he sees his bitch fucking. I'm looking for Wink Harris. You look at us. And they'll sign all of us, man. We all be eating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it! I don't understand why he just snapped, though. Like, yeah, so as you see, Marshall Mathers went bananas. Brittany Murphy looks dope, but I mean, is she worth the fucking jail sentence? But Wink's a traitor, yo. Wink said you lived in a trailer with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> but we ain't believe him. I like positive energy and speaking of positive energy, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the follow, hit whatever. I was hoping to see you at the shelter tonight, but if you're afraid, you know. I'm afraid of it. I'm high as fuck, but it helps. Hopefully you're high too. After the fight, he goes back to work. He goes and sees the gay dude that he helped out in the battle earlier. And he covers his shit for him because he knows the best part of the movie's coming. And that's the final battle. This whole crowd looks suspicious. It's all dudes in here, except for these bitches. Oh, I gotta murder that dude from Leave It to Beaver. Snoop Dogg on steroids. Eminem got the crowd going. And basically, Eminem's gonna make Papa Doc choke on his own smoke. Who goes first? Let that bitch go fuck. Put your motherfucking hands up. Look, I do live in a trailer with my mom. And we did fuck my girl. I'm still standing here screaming, fuck the free world. This became Eminem. Next thing you know, he wrote Oscar winning. What's the matter, dog? You embarrassed? This guy's a gangster? His real name's Clarence. Yeah. 
After that battle, shit, Eminem just took off. Future said, yo, where you going, bro? And Bunny Rabbit said, you know what? I'm sick of being a fucking rabbit. I want to be something better. I like candy. I like chocolate. I don't know if I want to be Milky Way or M&M's. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with M&M's.